Hi guys, my name's Sam and welcome to Prep Medic. This is the first video in a five video series covering a patient assessment. In this video, I'm going to be talking about your scene size up. The scene size up is the first step in a patient assessment and is designed to help protect yourself, your patient, as well as get you the resources you need in a timely manner to care for your patient adequately. The first step of your scene size up is scene safety. Scene safety is very important because if you're injured as the provider, you're not gonna be able to take care of your patients and you will require medical assistance of your own that would have been better spent on the original patients of the event. If you're confronted by an unsafe scene, you have three options available to you. The first is secure the scene yourself, whether that's putting out a fire, neutralizing an active shooter, or putting up traffic cones. The next option is to barricade yourself and the patient into a relatively safe location. And the third option is to wait outside the scene until the scene can be secured by an outside entity such as law enforcement or fire department. No scene's going to be completely safe, so it's going to be up to you to determine the amount of risk you're willing to take. The second step in your scene size up is BSI, body substance isolation. BSI is going to be equipment that you wear to protect yourself from potential pathogens on that patient. That can be oftentimes your gloves, it can be goggles or a face mask, depending on what the situation is. BSI is very important anytime you might come in contact with bodily fluids from your patient, as these can be vectors for any number of diseases. The third step in your scene size up is determining if it was an MOI or an NOI. MOI stands for mechanism of injury. In this case, you have to decide what injured this patient and try to make an educated guess as to what the underlying injuries of that patient are. If it's an NOI, which stands for nature of illness, you have to determine if that illness was caused by environmental factors or a pre-existing medical condition with that patient. MOI versus NOI will be very important as you determine your assessment pathway later on in this algorithm. The fourth step in your scene size up is determining the number of patients. This is very important for a couple reasons. One, it's gonna dictate how many resources you call to that scene. And two, it's going to clue you into a potentially unsafe scene. If you have multiple patients that are down and they all have similar symptoms, consider an environmental factor, maybe a gas leak, a chemical weapon even, has caused them to be sick and your scene's no longer safe and you have to figure out how to make it safe. If it's an injury and there are multiple patients that are down, make sure that whatever injured those people is not going to injure you as well. The fifth step in your scene size up is the need for additional resources. This is something you should be considering right away. If you have multiple patients, you're going to need multiple transporting units. If it's a specialty situation such as an active shooter or potentially a hazmat scene, you might need a hazmat team or a tactical team. The sixth and final step of your scene size up is determining the need for C-spine precautions. Your C-spine is your cervical spine and any injury to that can result in long-term disability. If you suspect a spinal injury on a patient, try to have them not move and hold their head still until rescuers can arrive. That being said, if the patient or yourself is in danger, feel free to move them as necessary. So a quick summary of everything we just talked about. The steps of your scene size up are scene safety, BSI, MOI, NOI, number of patients, the need for additional resources, and C-spine. Stay tuned for additional videos in this series. The next video I'll be covering is on your initial assessment and life-saving measures. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe, and I will see you next time.